Although I've spent my career investigating, prosecuting, and sentencing those who chose to be criminals, my goal was the protection of those who never chose to be victims in the first place. It was a noble cause. Likewise, the first order of government is the protection of its citizens. Hello and welcome to Justice. I'm Judge Jeanine Pirro. In the last two weeks, the Obama administration has opened its jails to release more than 2,000 criminal illegal aliens. That's what I said, 2,000 criminal illegal aliens. Now, let me be clear on one thing. All of us are immigrants to this great country, and everyone deserves an opportunity, including those children born here, irrespective of how their parents entered the country. But what is unbelievable is how reckless this administration has been in their release of dangerous criminals onto our streets, giving them a hope you come back soon so we can deport you card. The administration response. This was a decision made by career officials at ICE without any input from the White House as a result of fiscal uncertainty over the continuing resolution as well as possible sequestration. As ICE made clear yesterday, the agency released these low-risk, non-criminal detainees under a less expensive form of monitoring. That less expensive form of monitoring he's talking about? Open the prison doors and let them walk. Not so bad, right? The White House says they are low-risk, non-criminal detainees. J. If they are low-risk, non-criminal detainees, why are they in custody in the first place? Where are their lawyers? Where are the immigration rights activists? The truth? Somebody's lying. They wouldn't be in custody if they weren't considered dangerous. They are the worst of the worst. And the Obama administration is letting them walk among us, putting Americans in danger. How do I know this? I have the memo to all field office directors, all special agents in charge on the issue of the detention of I illegal aliens by ICE's top dog, Director John Morton. It says, ICE agents should issue detainers only where an individual is an alien subject to removal and has a prior felony conviction, three or more misdemeanor convictions, or poses a significant risk to national security, border security, or public safety. And get this one. They cannot detain an illegal, even if he or she has three misdemeanor convictions, if they're considered minor misdemeanors. You know, petty crimes and the like. So if they only have three petty crime misdemeanor convictions, ICE cannot arrest them, let alone detain them. That means... Only the most serious are the ones in custody, the ones who are now being released. But listen to this clueless California congresswoman in lockstep with the White House. The detainees in question uh, are not dangerous criminals. They pose no risk to uh, society. The reason they give for this mass exodus is that it's required by the sequester. The truth? This release plan was hatched and acted on even before the mandated cuts were signed into law. It's, war, uh, it's part of what I call the Obama amnesty program. We're doing our very best to minimize the impacts of sequester, but there's only so much I can do. Uh, you know, I'm supposed to have 34,000 detention beds for immigration. I, how do I pay for those? How do you pay for them? Is that the question? How about the fact that this year you had a carryover of $8 billion from last year's budget? Th at the end of this year, it is estimated that there will be $9 billion. How about the $70 million you have in unobligated user fee balances? And I have an idea. How about you reduce staff bonuses and performance awards? How about you use those unspent funds from state and local grant programs instead of releasing criminals? How about you not spend money on ridiculous things like that $98,000 for an underwater robot for Columbus, Ohio, where there are no major rivers and few lakes nearby? And that $24,000 for a latrine on wheels in Fort Worth, Texas? 
And by the way, if you're going to release those detainees, make me feel better. Give them a bill for those transgender hormone treatments, those new teeth, and those abortions they had while in our custody. Why not admit that your plan is to bring the mandated 34,000 detainees down to 25,000 in the next few weeks? Even your own assistant secretary said statutory mandates are that there be 34,000 of them in detention. But I guess Jay Carney didn't get that memo. Take a listen. This step affected a few hundred detainees, as you know, out of the over 30,000 currently in ICE detention. A few hundred? Now we know that that's not true. And now you say you didn't know it was happening. Kind of like a corrections officer letting out a few violent criminals to please the warden when the warden never asked for them to be released in the first place. But no problem. These criminals are going to voluntarily come back for their own deportation. The same ones who snuck into the country and have been determined to be a danger to the rest of us. Hope springs eternal, doesn't it? Now, I have an idea. If you want to save money, and if you want to release individuals who are nonviolent criminals, even if they have petty, triple minor, misdemeanor convictions, why not release someone who didn't break the law to come here in the first place? Why not release an American criminal? Personally, I don't think anyone should be released from jail before their time. As I said, the first order of government is the protection of its people. But I guess the Obama administration didn't get that memo.